Hello guys, welcome to practice test training. In this session, we will learn about users and groups in practice test. So in order to customize users and groups, you need to go to the settings menu here at the top and click on users and groups section. Um, once you are in the users and group, you'll see different groups available uh, under you know, like project groups and project users as well. So you, there are default, by default, three groups added, which you cannot delete. So those are you know, like administrators, developers, and testers. This can be edited. So you can edit the role based on these roles, uh, what access a particular user, if, if that user is assigned to this particular role or group, what access he'll be having. So let's edit that and at the moment you see that administrator group members so there are four members and what all permissions say system group permissions um, these users have right so if you see system group permissions for these groups cannot be edited right because these are the default groups added by practice test so you cannot actually go ahead and update any of these permissions right so if you want to edit any of the permissions for the default groups then in that case you have to you know like create a new group and um, create a new group and then basically customize the permissions for that particular group similarly this is the default group you can't change any of the system group permissions cannot be um, edited right so it shows you the message now if you see the other groups the project groups like product manager pro uh, project manager these are the custom group these are the cr groups that i created so if i go and edit these groups these are not the system groups so you have the ability to enable or disable what will be allowed to that particular user right so what permissions are allowed for to that particular user in that group so for example product manager what all access what all permission you want to assign to a product manager so for example does he need requirements editor access so if if that is a requirement uh, if that is required then you enable that so according to the role in your organization you can customize this sheet um, this this permission accordingly so you the first thing is to create the group and then basically edit what all permission is required for that particular group that defines the the role in your organization so for example uh, as a developer what all access and permission or as a as a developer role what all access and permission he should be having within that project right so any user who is assigned to that particular role what access will be required for that particular user so the first step is to create the group then to create the permission to assign what all permissions will be uh, enabled for that particular group and then add users to that group right. so to add a custom group you just need to create write a new group here so I'll say BA um, and then create group right so for BAs they'll be mostly working with the requirement so the permission most probably the permission for them would be requirements view requirement editor um, requirements admin right so if, if you select requirements admin that means it covers create edit delete and view requirements so if you just select requirements admin that means all three view editor and admin they can do anything with the requirement right? they can create they can edit they can delete 
similarly BAs will also need to review the test cases sometimes so based on the requirements that they are providing they might want to have a look or de depends what the process has been set in your organization so if the process says that yes BAs will be approving the test cases or having a look at the test cases and they will be kind of approvers for the test cases as well then you need to give them test view permission um, and any other permission if required so for example test editor which I don't believe they would need it but um, it depends what all permission is required for that particular role right so similarly with the issues reports and etc so you can provide permissions wherever you want to and then update the group All right, so that will update the group permission now you can add members so for example there are you know like five BAs in the team you just create the new user so you just need to provide the email in this email box here text box and then assign the groups so just choose whichever group you want to assign to that uh, that particular user and click on add user that user will get notified through email and he'll be added to that particular group um, the advantage of having groups is so permission whatever permissions that you have given to that particular group it doesn't matter how many users are being added you just need to keep adding the users to that particular group and everyone will be having that similar access um, next day you you realize that there are a couple of you know, like access issues or, or so for example BA needs access to few more um, options then in that case you just need to go to the group and update what extra access is required so for example run access is required to the BAs as well you just select that runs and update group and all the users within that group will be given access to the run all right so that makes it pretty easy to maintain the the groups um, roles and permissions around the project groups and project users so that is pretty much it about the project groups and users in next session we will learn about importing and exporting a feature in practice thank you